my friends, welcome back to another weekend vlog. I just like doing weekend vlogs. They seem kind of the thing lately. So I hope that you enjoy these. Right now my videos are like one week out. So like you'll be seeing this on the weekend, but it was for you last weekend. And same thing with today, a, video, a weekend vlog went up and you know, it was last weekend. So, but they seem to be a little bit longer because obviously it's over two days and I try to include like grocery hauls and more like, I guess, homemaking, like getting laundry done, getting ready for the week ahead and all that. So they're kind of fun to do every, every couple videos. So it is another weekend. This weekend is kind of, I don't know, today's Saturday, obviously, and it's like two o'clock already. And I've just not, I wasn't really sure what the plans were today because I had kind of like a lot of options and I thought, well, do I want to do this or do I want to do this? And, um, you know, we've been working on the bedrooms and last weekend we got it all finished and it's amazing. My, um, I need to make my bed, but I have some little fur babies on it and, you know, they're enjoying the warm bed and I don't want to make a move. It is a cold day today, so at some point when they're all off my bed, I will make it up, but... Um, there's like, you know, we've been working a lot. So kind of part of me is like, do I want to just kind of take the weekend off or, but I don't, I mean, I never do. So I really want, I thought I'd give you like a overview of like what our next plans are because, you know, we worked in the basement and then we did the bedrooms. And so the next plans are to move back down into the basement and do some more work down there so my plan today is actually to go through some of my boxes and bins i don't know how many i'm going to go through i think what i'm going to do is just do stuff around the house today and then tomorrow i'll be doing the stuff out of the house i need to we'll go to church tomorrow and then i'll need to grocery shop so today i'll make my grocery list and do my meal planning and all that for the week i'm only going to do one week this time and then I'm actually looking frustrated but I've only looked online but you know we talked about getting putting our love our, our love our sectional down in the basement so I've been looking online for like furniture and I actually found exactly what I'm looking for but it's gonna take 8 to 14 weeks to arrive and I'm just not wanting to wait that long so I am planning on going with Mary and we're going to go in town and look at like several furniture stores that, th that there are here and see if they say the same thing. I mean, I was reading reviews and people are saying you go into the stores and they're telling you it's going to be May before things are available. Yeah, and I'm, I don't know. So I've even like looked on Marketplace and Craigslist and I'm just frustrated. So I'm not sure how long this process might take. I don't want to, I don't want it to be May before I get new couches you know so I'm kind of probably not able to be as picky as I want to be but I did find the perfect set like everything was perfect about it because I need something that's durable for pets for kids that um, is affordable that is washable that is the same comfort and color you know it's all the things you want to you want yeah anyway it said it wasn't available for four eight to 14 weeks so I don't know I'm gonna see what's out there it's kind of frustrating me but It'll happen when it's supposed to happen, but we are going to move our sectional downstairs, so that'll be um, definitely one of the, well, I don't know if it's going to be one of the next things. So what Marion did this morning was took a huge load to the, to the dump. He filled up Michael's truck again, and so I'll take you down in the basement in a second and show you what the plan is, but I think I'm going to go through a few boxes and bins, and then I'm going to make my grocery list. I've been like doing some things online and and I'm budgeting and things like that this morning. And so I think I'm just gonna do those kinds of things today. I'm also gonna do some laundry, super fun, and just a little cleaning around here. I think for dinner, because I've not grocery shopped, we'll either get takeout, we'll get pizza or something, or I have a few dinners I could make, um, you know, just like make them up before I go grocery shopping again. I don't know, I can't tell you right now what I'm gonna do. It's two o'clock, so dinner's a few hours away. <laughs> We'll figure that out when it comes and then tomorrow, like I said, I'll be going out and doing grocery shopping. I'll do a grocery haul. Uh, maybe I'll go look at a few furniture stores this weekend. I don't know if I do. I'll take you with me. Um, yeah, just getting ready for the next uh, coming week. So welcome back. After all that, welcome back. If you're new, uh, my name is Erica. I've kind of gotten a lot of new subscribers lately just from my bedroom 
uh, makeover video. So welcome if you are new here. Thank you so much for subscribing or for just watching. I hope that you enjoy what you see here and I hope that you want to stick around. So in here, um, Marion has gotten rid of a lot of stuff. So this is all for his woodworking room and his gaming room and all that. But these bikes and then all of this stuff, the Christmas trees and the camping and beach stuff, that all has to go on the other side of the basement. So he got, um, so we, you know, we had organized and clean, cleaned all this out. So all of these, like all of this and then all of these, I have to go through all of these. And then Marion bought me two more of these shelves. So I'm going to that's my job is to go through all of this so i want to start working on this today and i do need my kids to, to to go through some of it but i'm going to try to get rid of some let go of some and then um use these two shelves to put the rest of it on to to just store because that's like the stuff i'm not going to need to pull out very often so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to uh then marion's going to take all that stuff from that room like the bikes I think we're gonna put the somewhere. We're gonna put like the trees, the Christmas trees and all that stuff. That will all go over here on this side. I think we're gonna take these old tables to Goodwill. And then I also have to go through, I have boxes of pictures, like four boxes, five boxes. Also those will be moved over. And then this we have to decide about still, but then this is all his woodworking. This is also stuff I have to go through. So then he'll have this whole space ready for him to make his uh, woodworking area. He's going to, he said the next thing he's going to do is build a rolling cart for all his wood scraps. He wants to keep all these so he can practice. And he built this cart for his table saw. So yeah, he's really excited to do all that. Those are the paints that I'm going to keep. We still have paint over here. We have to dry it out before we can get rid of that so so yeah there's still a lot to do down here and that's what we're focusing on now so i don't know how much we'll get done this weekend but so then once i get this cleared out and that room's cleared out then we can you know start fixing his room up down here that's why i need to get a new couch because we want to put the couch down here and yeah so that is what is next my my craft room still needs to be gone through like i have i have got to clean this craft room i have still stuff in that corner that has to be gone through and this rug is like terrible to to clean like it does not vacuum it just holds on to everything so you know it's not terrible but i need to really really vacuum really good and i like i said i said in one video that i'm gonna sort of redo my craft room like because i don't really use some of this stuff and i thought i'd make it a little bit more user friendly i guess i don't know i also have my little shadows right here what you doing you just watch me <laughs> y'all are so cute you know you could come downstairs you're just waiting at the top for me what are y'all doing what are you doing
Someone don't help you when someone don't help you through the rain when feelings don't matter and everything's nothing but a game game Just know that I'm with you Just know that I'm with you through it all and I'm gonna be there whenever you win or if you fall Legos, like it came with the blocks, 
fill and dump wagon, but like maybe a little boy could really have fun with this. So I think I'm gonna let it go to Goodwill. And I have the memories in my head, in my heart. But this was many, many, many good times with this wagon. But I am keeping his table because I, I can't, I can't. I wanna like pass that on to his, him one day because he literally used that table every day, all day, for years and years and years. So, but I'll, I'll let this go to Goodwill. What are we doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, you crazy, crazy? <laughs> You're so crazy. You're so crazy, 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 crazy boy. So this box will remain. Okay, so we're finished. I think for right now, Marion has loaded up the car. He already, like I said, he, he took one whole load to the dump and then he just loaded up our car with a bunch of stuff for Goodwill. And, cause we just keep finding more stuff. And goodness, Oliver and Bella have been running around chasing each other. Now you're coughing. Um, they love to have the open space. But um, anyway, he's taking the table that we had leaned up against this wall over here. That was his grandma's, his brother is gonna take that. So that's good. And I moved all this stuff. There is belief or not, believe it or not, it is organized. These are like bins that I need to go through still. I did get all my paint supplies up here, so that's awesome, because I use that all the time. These are my decor bins. And then over here, this is like all pictures. Basically, this is all pictures. I do need to go through some of these down at the bottom with the frames and maybe throw some frames out. Ollie, but all these bins are the ones I need to go through of the kids things and then papers so all that we do still need to throw these away when we dry them out but at least we condensed everything down to this one side basically and then over here we we did go through and got rid of some of this i'm sorry ollie keeps coughing he has such a sensitive throat um so we do have to figure out some of that that's the pool then this is like all marion's tools and things and so we're going to take that palette i think and put it right here and then we're gonna put all of our um, camping stuff and our Christmas trees that are right here we'll put these on top of the pallet it looks so much better we weren't down here very long today but we got a lot of stuff done so that feels really great and then Marion's gonna go take that stuff to his brother and to Goodwill so yeah that's probably all we'll get done down here today but it feels good have this feeling haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so
It feels like it never happened Maybe just a dream Could it be my imagination Running out of steam All I know is every time I see you I feel insecure I'm unable to find the words How can I be sure I'm holding on When everything's gone to Home Depot and took all that stuff to Goodwill and stuff and he brought home some pizza so it is 5 30 we're gonna eat I'm gonna watch the Olympics I'm gonna make a grocery list continue with my laundry but I'll see you guys in a few seconds which will be tomorrow for me all right my friends it is now Sunday it's a little bit later in the day and I finally got my groceries I'm gonna show you a grocery haul and then I'm gonna do a quick meal plan and then I'm just gonna catch you up on this day so it wasn't as much this time so my grocery haul is a little smaller and my meal plan because this is only for one week so it's all those and then all these I'll just start over here I got um, this watermelon Jackson has asked for this a few times so I just was there and thought I'd grab it for him got a lot of drinks this week I got a couple lemon lime and then just a bunch just a bunch of ice drinks you know Jackson and I both love those. I got the grape juice but in the big bottle this time. And I got some little orange juice. These are so good. I got a half gallon of milk because I have a gallon. But um, it's going to expire like on Wednesday or Thursday. And I thought I don't want to, you know, I might need some before then. So just grabbed a half gallon. And then I got some watermelon. I was telling you in my last grocery haul that the mini watermelons are $7. That was over $7. So I just got this thing of cubed watermelon for Jackson, really. Jackson and Mary both love them. I got some fresh broccoli. This is Jackson's favorite apple. They're gigantic. Some tomatoes and bananas. I had to get the organic. The other ones were all out. And then I got some baby spinach. I have a big thing of cat litter right down there. And then a big bag of cat food and a bunch of the 
tastefuls cans. Then I got some of these multi-grain scoops. We're going to have nachos tonight, so I'm going to use these for that. I usually get the Walmart brand, but this is the ones uh, they did not have the Walmart brand. Then I got some of these chicken strips that Jackson really likes, and then just a pizza just to have it in the freezer for a quick lunch. I got some ground chicken. I have some of this already, a couple packs, but I needed one. They're frozen, and I forgot to take them out, so I just picked this up because I'll be using this for the nachos tonight. I have stuff for spaghetti, but I didn't have any garlic bread, so I got that. We're going to have um, chicken salad. I love this chicken salad, the rotisserie seasoned. Chicken salad wraps with like spinach and tomato. And Marion likes tuna, so I got some tuna for him. That'll be dinner one night. This pepper jack is for our nachos tonight, and so are the black beans. Got some more Parmesan cheese. That's a staple in this house. Jackson loves the peanut butter trail mix, so I got some more of that. I also got this. I've not tried it before. A farm stand salsa. This was over by like the deli section and that'll go on our nachos tonight. It looks really good. Like fresh, full of veggies. Very good. I got a little thing of my favorite sweet peas. And let's see. I got two of these keto, Duncan Hines keto little like cakes because they're zero added sugar. So I tried, if you watched a recent vlog, I tried some keto brownie brownies and they were disgusting so I'm hoping this will be a little better but I don't have high hopes for it but I got the walnut fudge brownie mix and the double chocolate cake mix so I'll try them they were about 218 each so we'll see maybe they're good I don't know I've had a lot of sugar-free desserts in the last year and some of them are really delicious but some are not so we'll find out um, I got did I say these yes um, I got some more of this Chicken breast, rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. This is Jackson's favorite, and I got some brioche buns to put it on. Some fig bars for Marion. I found Jackson's drink mix today, so I always have to grab a few. I got some onion soup mix because I'm going to be doing a meatloaf with the roasted broccoli and potatoes and carrots. And then I got a tricolor rotini. This is Jackson's pasta. He loves that. And then I bought some churros. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Jackson and Mary both love those. And then these, a big pack, 28 bars. I didn't realize. Um, these are the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and the Reese's Puffs. Wow, you get 14 each. <laughs> I don't know how much this was, but um, that'll fill up my snack box for a while. So that is my grocery haul this week. Okay, so I think I kind of basically told you the meal plan when I was going through them. But I'll go over it again. We're going to have grilled cheese and that um, tomato soup I got at Aldi. That stuff is so good. Uh, we'll have that one night. Meatloaf with the roasted vegetables, and I might do that, what is it called, Rhodes homemade bread. I have a lot of that left in the freezer. We'll do like the tuna and chicken salad wraps one night with like some fruit. Then one night I'm gonna do more of those egg bites with the bell pepper and egg and white cheddar and sausage, so good. And then I'll do, um, I like actually, last time I made those, I kind of broke them up and put them in my tortillas with shredded potatoes and I didn't put any cheese. Shredded potato, I guess that's it. And I froze them for like my breakfast burritos and it, that was really, really good like that. So I'm gonna try to make extra and freeze them. And then I'm making nachos tonight. And then um, I do still have that buffalo chicken, shaved buffalo chicken, I have not made that yet. I also have uh, spaghetti and garlic bread. My mind is not here, <laughs> but and then Marion's birthday is this week, so I don't know. I don't know the plans this week, though. I'm everything's kind of up in the air right now. I'm gonna go. I'm making my nachos when I'm done with that. Well, it's already dinner time, so as soon as I got everything done, I have to had to start on dinner, and I cleaned up a little bit, and then I'm gonna talk with you in a minute. <laughs> so I'm just layering these with um, taco meat, which I just used some ground turkey. I mean ground chicken with um, taco seasoning. And then I'm going to put some black beans, drain these and rinse some black beans and then pepper jack cheese on top. And then we'll put some salsa. That's it. They're so good and so easy. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call 
us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Okay, my friends, it is a couple days later. It is Tuesday, actually, Tuesday evening. And I kind of abruptly ended yeah, the video you were watching, Sunday's vlog, and I was just a little bit crazy. So I am editing that now, and I wanted to do an ending. And I apologize, it was kind of not how I expected that weekend to go, not how I expected my vlogging to go. But just without going into detail, um, Jackson started to get really sick, and we suspected he had the virus, and we took him but we got him tested and he was positive right away. So um, he is now Tuesday, so he was pretty sick for a couple days, but he has not run a fever now all day. And he actually woke up today, it was around lunchtime. I let him sleep because I, I know when I had it, it was, you're exhausted and you need to sleep. And so he woke up and he said he felt a lot better and he has not run a fever and he just really, he's got that like sparkle back in his eyes. So, you know, it was a good two days of him feeling pretty bad. He had a um, pretty high fever, but he is doing good. So I went and picked up all his books and stuff today. They got them together for me. So we'll start that tomorrow. So that's Wednesday. And I do plan on vlogging still this week. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but um, you know, just depending on how much he needed me or how he was feeling, but he's doing good. So, so anyways, that is sort of the gist of it. The weekend kind of just, that kind of took over, took priority. So I still hope that you enjoyed this weekend vlog. It was a little bit different, but, um, it's already, like I said, it's already Tuesday. So I'll be vlogging tomorrow and I also plan on vlogging Thursday and I'm going to be doing some like things around my house, just like little things that I need to do that I've kind of neglected. Um, not, not the the um, everyday places that I clean or that I clean in my videos regularly. And then I also got a fun little thing that I want to show you in my next video that it's so pretty and I want to show it and share it with y'all in case you want to get one. And yeah, some cooking and cleaning and all that, all the homemaking things coming up soon. So anyway, that is it. That's enough talking. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.